Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here. Welcome back to The Last of Us. Uh, a couple things that happened last time. Uh, we had a bit of a, a run-in. Uh, <laughs> an encounter with the runners. Uh, we found out that the runners can see our light. The clickers obviously cannot. And that's going to prove for some interesting challenges when we see those things in a group. Okay, guys, hurry it up. My arms are about Let's to go. bust off. All right, hold on. Okay, we got some more rags, some more alcohol. See? Doing all right. All kinds of supplies. How are we doing for supplies? We could use another shiv. So let's do that. We have tons of the uh, necessary items to craft it. We also need to be on the lookout for explosives and sugar. Not sure what sugar is going to be used for. Whoa. Oh, that's, uh, Down we go. that's a fair drop. Yeah, let's get to it. How about we take this way? We get through here. Watch your back. <sighs> you can hear those clickers off in the distance. No, I was thinking. After we get back. We can take it easy for a little while. You want to take it easy? Hey, you're the one always going on about laying low. And you always brush me off. Well, I won't this time. I believe it when I see it. <laughs> Sounds like I've wanted to settle down, and uh, she doesn't seem like the settling down type. But experiences like this can change people. You never know. Anything here? Nope. Oh, hello. Do I see some pills here? Yes, I do. It seems like these pills are going to be so crucial to try and find. Because if you take a look, like... Oh, I can't do it right now while I'm on this wall, I guess. If you take a look... Um, these things are expensive. Like, especially the ones that I think are valuable, like health would be nice. Um, weapon sway, maybe. A shiv master would be great, because those frickin' clickers, they touch you and you're dead. So it would be nice to have a backup situation. Uh, like, always keep a shiv on you so that at least, bare minimum, if you get attacked by, uh, a clicker... Oh, we just came from there. Then you have a chance to kill one. I do like the, um... The longer hearing range, too. So those are probably going to be my two priorities. Hello. Found something. Nice. We haven't gotten a chance to upgrade weapons yet, but I found a ton of those little bolts or whatever, so I imagine when we're able to do that, we should be in a pretty good spot. With sleeve. Firefly. Yep. These guys aren't doing well in or out of the city. Now let's hope there's someone alive to meet us at the drop off. It's gonna be fine. Grab his Molotovs. Molotovs, eh? Hey?
Use Molotovs to kill multiple enemies at once. A burning enemy can even set fire to others. Arc throw the Molotov with L1 to hit the enemies behind cover. Be careful with your supplies. Molotovs require the same ingredients as health kits. Obviously the, uh, the alcohol portion. Okay. It looks like I can craft right from here. Yeah, it takes me right into crafting one. Cool, okay. I dig it. Birds of Prey. Some type of movie. It's, it seems like it would be an IMAX film. Oh shit. Okay, Joel, you take point. I'll watch the rear. Ellie, no matter what, you stay right on his heels. Sure. You stay sharp. I got it. Okay. Uh, clickers can still hear you when you're crouched. Push lightly to move quietly. If you're hurt, stop and wait until it's safe to move. Okay, that's good to know. We're gonna take this really carefully. Why didn't he go towards that? It's interesting. A little unpredictable, I guess. Uh oh. Okay, I see one, two, three, four, five in the back there. Oh god. And these things are so unpredictable. They're so erratic moving. Like this guy, what is he doing? Maybe this would be a good time to use a Molotov. If I were to toss one at that guy coming around the corner. And then they all go check it out. Oh, nice! Fuck. Wow! Okay, not bad. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Oh my god, clickers. You've got to be shitting me. These things are gonna require some serious work. Okay, we're gonna make this happen. I like the Molotov thing going in there. That was... That worked out pretty well. But I'm thinking I may try to take this person out first, or whatever this thing is. Everyone stay quiet. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, wow. They can walk through it. I'm not sure. Oh, no, he can't. I'm gonna use another one. Wow. Wow, that is incredible. Oh, shit. Let's get another couple of these going. We have full health kits anyway, so... That just cleared out a ton. What is that that's showing me? 
Oh, nice. All right, are we in the clear now? Do we have some extra wiggle room? That is how you handle clickers right there, these Molotovs. Clutch. Note to Derek. Derek at the bookstore is letting us use his safe. Okay, when you close tonight, put my stuff in there. 34378, we gotta find a bookstore. Could you guys just crouch? You guys make me look silly when I'm the only one crouching. It appears that nothing else is around here, and I don't hear any clickers. So, to use the Molotovs probably most effectively, it would make sense... It would make most sense, I think, to throw something that's going to make noise in a certain direction. And then have them all go to it, and then throw your Molotov. Just for maximum, like, impact, because it doesn't last forever. What the hell is that noise? Oh, and that's another Molotov there. So, it, I'm kind of learning a lot of things here. Like, here's another one. Is that a Molotov? Or is that just a bottle? I th no, I think these are just bottles. Yeah. Uh-oh. See something. This could be the bookstore. I don't think that's a clicker, though. <sighs> oh, right by the safe. Okay, so there are going to be some hidden things that we're going to need to find, like, like the safe, for example. <sighs> Scary. All right, so I don't know if we're going to need to put the code in, but let's just take a quick look at it again. Three forty-three seventy-eight. Oh, okay. So because we have the code, I guess it just opens. Now, I think by the looks of it from here, that's a clicker, but it's not making the clicker noise. Well, let's see if we can't, but is it on the other side of the fence? This may be a shiv situation. My girls aren't exactly quiet, are they? Wow. 
worth it. Whew. Good takedown. I'm thinking that it's probably worth uh, scouring the area first before you craft things. Just so that you don't craft things that you might just find, like that Molotov right like at the between that guy's legs. Could save us uh, some of our precious items. Holy shit. We actually made it. This little Everyone 14 okay? year old, she's got quite the mouth. Yes, let's move. You guys are pretty good at this stuff. It's called luck, and it is gonna run out. I don't think there's anything back here. Let's just get the hell out. Holy shit, I actually kind of feel safe up here for some Where reason. Where are we going, Tess? Uh... Capitol building's in this direction. What is it, that big tower up there? I'm gonna check for supplies, I don't know about you guys, but... This truck. Let's see what we can find. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, we got action. A lot of it. Now, how quiet. Okay, that is pretty quiet. Sleep. One more. And this is all about the balance. Like, do you t do you take the risk of taking these? Oh shit! Of taking these things down to find what could possibly be in here. All right. They're recently infected. Go. Those soldiers must have just turned. Which means there's more in the area. We gotta go. Oh, it looks like this was actually crucial to come in here. So, let me just check the other side here, scavenge for any type of supplies I can find. Although there may not be much to scavenge. Yeah, looks like we're out of space. So I want to see what they were investigating over here first, because I'm guessing they can't get past based on what she said. So if I push out this thing, then we should be able to climb up and over the lobster truck. see anything down here? I wonder if these things tend to stick to the inside. Uh. 
What is this? Medical pamphlet. CBI safety pamphlet. The Center for Disease Control has produced this pamphlet on cordyceps, cordyceps brain infection, CBI, to increase awareness and prevention of infection. Background, the cordyceps mushroom is a parasitic fungi that can take over a host's mind and alter its behavior. This is the clickers. Until recently, it only affected insects and some anthropods. A new species has emerged with the ability to target human hosts. Transmission, there are two ways to contract CBI. Breathing the spores emitted by the cordyceps or contact with body fluids of a person infected with CBI, usually being, by being bitten. Incubation, after initial infection, the parasite travels to the host's brain over a period of one to two days. The incubation concludes when the cordyceps has taken over all major bodily functions at the host, of the host. So that's stage one CBI. Stage one CBI patients display erratic and violent behavior, lashing out at anything around them. Eventually, the fungus pushes through the host tissue to allow for the release of airborne spores. There's no vaccine for CBI, nor any good treatment to lengthen the incubation period. Diagnosis. CBI can be diagnosed using a blood or microscopic imaging test, usually administered using the ear. Within minutes of contraction, the results of the test will come out positive. Wow. That's cool. I mean, not cool enough that, like, I want that, but, you know... Cool to learn about. Joel, over here. Maybe we can cut through here. Yeah, that worked out this time. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just saying. What happened? I don't hear anything. Okay, double time. They're coming. Oh shit. Okay, that's good, that's good, go. 